We're building huge mazes to keep Mikey and JJ safe. Can we build a secure maze in time before the army of monsters kill us? Louie, we don't have much time. The sun's already going down. The zombies are coming any minute now. I see that, Pip. We need to start on our bases to keep Mikey and JJ and their family safe. Well, I'm going to protect Mikey because Mikey's my favorite. All right. Well, you go and do that, Pip. I'm going to go ahead and protect JJ's family because they are red, just like me. Louie, judging by where the sun's location is, we only have about 20 minutes, so we need to start building now. 20 minutes? Oh, this is going to be really intense, guys. We've got to start building this maze to keep JJ and Mikey's family safe. So this is why I'm going to start building my maze out of iron blocks. It is super strong and sturdy and is very safe to use to protect JJ's family. Iron? Iron is the worst block in the game, Louie. I'm using the best block in the game. Dirt. I've got dirt, coarse dirt, reinforced dirt. Oh, no. Wait, Pip, did you just say dirt? You're using dirt to protect your base? Are you sure that's even sanitary? Who cares about sanitariness? I'm using the best block in the game. Oh, well, when Mikey's family gets sick, <coughs> don't come crying to me. I'm making sure that JJ's family is extremely safe. And they won't get sick because they won't be breathing in dirt all the time. Well, they might get sick, but at least they'll be protected. Um, I doubt that, Pip. Dirt falls over so easily. Your base will crumble while my maze won't at all. It's made out of this super sturdy iron. I'm making sure to build the walls of this maze extremely tall. And I'm making sure to build the floor out of iron too, so that nothing can dig underneath and attack JJ's family. What are you doing to keep your maze safe, Pip? I'm going to be surrounding Mikey's family with dirt and sand. And I'm also going to be trapping Mikey's family in here so they can't get out, but the zombies can't come in. Pip, that's super unsafe. Mikey's family is just going to be rotting away in this little tiny room with no drink or water. At least they'll be safe, Louie. Oh, well, we'll see about that. They might be safe trapped in there, but I wouldn't say they're exactly fully safe. If they starve and die in there, then that means that your base is the new base. Louis, you're just jealous of my base. My base is way more pro than your little noob base over there. Well, Pip, I'm not sure about you, but I'm making my maze right now. So I've done the final room that they will be staying in. And I'm also doing a few sections that come out. So you can go left here or right here. And I'll start doing some dead ends now. Dead ends? I don't even need dead ends. I don't even think the zombies will be able to find Mikey's family. Wait a second, Pip. Are you saying you're not adding any dead ends to your base? That's super unsafe. The zombies might just walk straight in and attack Mikey's family. It has to be secure, you know. Louie, I'm not scared of zombies because zombies are dumb. They're not smart zombies, so I don't even need to put any dead ends. Well, judging by all the times you've been overrun with zombies, I wouldn't necessarily say that these zombies are dumb. Well, Louie, how about you tell me what you and zombies both have in common? What? Uh, Pip, what do you mean by that? You're both stupid. Oh, Pip, how could you say that? Oh, I'm tired of your jokes. I'm going to build these walls on my maze extremely fast. I think it's coming along quite nicely. I have a few dead ends, and I also have a few areas you can walk around like this. All that's left is just for me to build the walls upwards like this. Pip, I also had another question about your base. Have you ever seen how dirt works? I mean, if you just touch it, it will crumble in your hands. What if the zombies touch your base and it just crumbles to dust? Louis, what are you talking about? I'm a duck. I've lived on dirt my entire life. Dirt is literally the best material. Maybe for ducklings like you, but not for humans like me. If the wind picks up any tiny little amount, it could blow somebody's house down. So I need to make this maze extremely secure and... I don't really think dirt will do it. It'll just blow away in the wind. Yeah, Louis, just like my parents. My parents blew away in the wind a few years ago. All right, guys, so now I have the center of my maze, and I've got these little winding areas that come off the side. I'm going to go ahead and build some massive rooms just like this that connect up here. So I'll have multiple areas of the maze connect to a big room in the middle, and that's where I'm going to start putting my traps. I'm going to build a massive iron wall just around all all of this right here. And this is going to be one of the traps that stop all of the mobs from getting to Mikey's family.
finally. But now that I've worked out that this room is where the final trap is going to be, I think it's time to start on my first room of this entire maze, which I'm going to build right here next to Pip. Oh, Pip, it seems like your maze is really puny right now, while mine is nice and big with tons of iron on it. Louis, we've only been building for a few minutes. Just give me a few more minutes and I'll prove you wrong. Okay, well, let's just keep securing our base. We need to make sure these monsters get nowhere near. And anyways, didn't I mention? It's not just zombies that are attacking. It's all types of different monsters. So it might be Ravagers. Mm. Ravagers are really scary, Louie. I don't know if I'm cut off for this. Do they eat ducks? Of course they do, Pip. No! They eat everything, even humans. And that's why I'm super scared and need to build this maze to protect JJ's family. If you really start struggling, I might have to protect Mikey's family as well. Louis, your base is literally the most unsafe base ever. I would never let Mikey's family step foot in your base. Are you kidding me, Pip? Have you even seen this thing compared to yours? It's made out of unsafe, unsanitary, nasty dirt. Mine is made of nice, sanitary, safe materials like iron and soon gold. Wait, Louie, yellow is my favorite color. <gasps> that gives me a good idea. Oh my gosh, I need to build my maze out of yellow things like wool and other things. That's actually perfect, guys. I can't believe I just gave Pip a great idea. As you can see, Pip's now putting yellow wool in the base. At least it's more secure than dirt. But anyways, guys, we need to keep building this entrance to my base to keep Mikey and JJ's family safe. That's if Mikey's family ever makes it into my maze. You know, Louis, I don't even think I'll need your help today. Because look, I'm putting quicksand all around the maze so as soon as zombies come in, they're just gonna fall in the sand. Wait, quicksand? Let me try this out. Um, Pip? This is not quicksand. This is just regular sand. I'm not even sinking inside. No, 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 no. Zombies sink into the sand, huh? Huh? Uh, zombies sink inside. Yep, yep. Well, I guess I'll have to take your word for it. Uh, okay. Yeah, Louis, you must be a noob if you don't think zombies can fall into sand. Oh, guys, this is super funny. Pip has no clue what they're talking about. Sand makes zombies fall into it? What kind of idiotic idea is this? But anyways, guys, it's time for me to start on the entrance of my base. This will be the entrance to my maze, and I'm going to make it two blocks wide like this. And this is because I'm going to be securing it with a super cool trap right at the start. Louis, what traps are you even thinking of making? They're all trash. Well, you'll see, Pip. And I don't want you to see this one, so I'm going to just block you off like this. Because this, guys, is a trap that's going to stop Pip from getting out of my maze. Louis, I saw that piston in your hand. Uh, no, you didn't. Bye. Oh my gosh, Louie, you're so annoying, but I, I can't get distracted with your base. I need to work on the better base, the dirt base. The better base? Well, maybe if you secured it a bit more, it could be better, but I don't know, Pip. I need to work on my traps now. Oh yeah? Does your base have quicksand? I didn't think so. It might not have quicksand, but once you get... But once you and the zombies... But once you and the monsters get inside, they're gonna get trapped. It's like... Wait, how? And I'll be like, mm, you'll find out. How could they get trapped? You'll find out. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little redstone contraption like this. And what this trap is going to do is make it so that once Pip walks inside of the base or any mobs, it's going to shut behind and leave them stuck. It's like a real life labyrinth. I'm going to set these sticky pistons to regular pistons instead. So once they step on the piston, it'll close up and never retract back until they complete my maze. You know what, guys? I'm going to switch it to stone because I doubt Pip is even going to notice what's going on. Anyways, now that I step on this pressure plate, it shuts behind and it traps you inside the labyrinth. I just need to hook it up to this other side. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to do the exact same setup, just like this. And then I'm going to run the redstone around the outside and underneath this block. So now that when I step on only one of these pressure plates, it shuts both doors right behind me. This is going to be awesome. Whenever Pip goes inside, or maybe even some monsters, they're gonna get trapped right inside my base. Which is perfect, considering my next trap is going to be right inside of here. So, once they get trapped inside of my maze, I'm going to put some dispensers around the outside like this, and fill them with fire charges. 
This means whoever gets stuck in this room is going to have to dodge a ton of fire charges, just like in the Matrix. You know, Louia, I just added probably a super OP trap. I just hired a couple security guard turtles. You hired security guard turtles? I, I mean, I guess that would make Mikey and his family feel a little safer, but those turtles aren't going to... Those turtles are not going to do anything. Yes, they are, because when the zombies see the turtles, they're going to be like, oh, look how cute the turtles are. And then I can kill the zombies. Hmm, the only thing I can think of that makes your security guards good is that they have protective shells. But at the end of the day, they aren't hostile mobs, so they won't do any damage, unlike my fire charge trap. Now what I'm going to do, guys, is finally hook up these dispensers with a tripwire hook. This means that whoever walks into this base will set off the trap and start taking damage. This maze is looking awesome so far. This is the entrance, and then this is one of the final trap rooms. But I'm going to make it go all the way around like this, and then back into the maze. All I have to do is now set up my trap. So I'm going to go around the outside like this and activate all of these dispensers. And then I'll do the same on the opposite side like this. So now if I press this tripwire hook, it'll shoot a bunch of fire charges all over the room. This is perfect, guys. If Pip walks in here, they'll be incinerated, as well as any hostile mobs that attack during the night. This way, I'm going to keep JJ's family super safe and secure. This base is looking super efficient. Louis, I'm not really scared of the zombies, so you know what? I'm not going to work on the maze. I'm going to work on the farm. I'm making my own little farm with my fellow brothers. Wait, what? Pip, if you don't keep building your maze, it won't be secure at the end, meaning those monsters are going to destroy you and your farm. Oh, don't worry, Louis. My security guards will help protect Mikey's family, so I don't really need to work on the maze too much. I can just work on adding more ducks. I don't know about that. You're going to add ducks to your base? Are you sure that's a good idea? I mean, what if you all die to the zo- What if you all die to the mobs? It's going to be a really tough fight, you know. Well, Louis, even if they somehow get past the security guards and get past the quicksand, I do have the best armor in the game to help fend off the zombies. Wait, guys, this is good. Maybe Pip has finally figured out that netherite armor is the best in the game. Um, Pip, what armor are you using? Oh, just the same color as dirt. Uh Dirt? Wait, guys. Leather is the same color as dirt. Pip, please tell me you're not using leather armor. Oh, don't worry, Louie. I would never use leather armor. Um, Pip, I don't know about you, but I can kind of see over your maze, and you are wearing leather armor. No, I'm not, Louie. Just go back to your base. Don't worry about my base. Oh, you're such a noob. I can't with you sometimes. But anyways, guys, as you can see, I've added one of these dead ends to my maze, and this is where I'm going to add a trap. I'm going to go ahead and put a chest right here, and right in front of it, I'm going to add some ghost blocks. If you didn't know what ghost blocks are, guys, once I place these, they look like real blocks and even sound like real blocks. But once I walk over them, I just go straight through like a ghost. It's perfect for any thieves who want to try and take my loot from this base. This is how it'll work. These, the thieves are going to walk and try and steal some of my loot. And before they can open the chest, they'll fall right into maybe a lava trap. Yeah, that'll do. So I'm going to go ahead and place some lava right at the bottom like this. So if any of these zombies decide they want to steal my loot, they'll fall straight in. And just to keep some of the mobs out of my base, I'm going to go ahead and add a villager right here. Because as you know, hostile mobs are attracted to villagers. So if they see these villagers, they'll walk straight towards them and fall into the lava pit. It's foolproof, both from Pip and from the monsters. Well, Louis, why do I even need to worry about traps when I can worry about making my entrance super secure so zombies can't even get in in the first place? Um, Pip, I'm looking at your entrance right now, and, uh, that's kind of open. I could just walk straight in. Look at me. Oh, no, no. It's not finished yet, Louis. No, this is what I'm going to add. I'm going to add a fence around it. Okay, a fence made out of wood. This is looking awfully insecure, Pip. And then... I'm going to hire the people that do security the best. 
ducks. You're putting ducks as security? Look, half of them don't even want to see your base. They're running away. No, 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 no. They're going into the maze. See, look. Yeah, maybe one or two, but they're just like you, Pip. All of these pro ducks just don't even want to see it. Look, that one's running away for his life. Well... I didn't even want those ducks as security guards anyways. Oh, Pip, you should know by now that if your base isn't secure, Mikey's family is going to take a beating. So maybe you should start working on some security measures that aren't ducks. Well, what ideas do you have in mind for me, Louis? Well, Pip, that's up to you because this is your base. And if I help you, it'll go from being a new base to a pro base. So I'm going to keep working on mine now. Oh, you're right, Louis. I don't even need your help. But now, guys, it's time for me to add some more twists and turns to my base. This maze has to be extremely secure because if those monsters get inside, JJ's family is never going to forgive me. Well, Louis, JJ's family must just be mean or something, because Mikey's family always forgives me. Always forgives you for what, Pip? Putting them in danger every single video? Um, no, Mikey just likes me more than JJ likes you, Louis. What? Guys, this is so funny. Pip thinks that Mikey keeps forgiving them for putting their lives on the line every single video, when, uh, it's always me who comes back to save them. I can't believe you would say that, Louis. That's just not true. Yeah, Pip, that is totally true. The only reason that Mikey even sits in your bases is because I swoop in at the end and rescue them every single time. They like me way more than you. Well, Louis, maybe you should worry about JJ's family more instead of Mikey's family, because Mikey's family is safe with me. Okay, well, we'll see at the end of the video, but right now, JJ's family is looking super happy. They are super secure in my new... They're super secure in my huge maze build. Um, and I'm making sure to add some extra twists and turns to throw off any mobs or intruders like you. Louis, I I'm not an intruder. I'm literally your brother. Oh, I don't think that matters, Pip. If you try to enter my base without my permission, my security system will make sure you are dust by the end. Oh, did you hire security guards? I do not need security guards. My security is automatic. Where's the security at? Oh, Pip, you have just walked into two of my traps already. That's just how good my build is. This base is so unsecure, Louis. I just got by so easily. As you can see, guys, I've put some water down in this corner right here, but not any regular water. If I go into survival mode and hop in, I take damage. Ow, ow, ow. This will be a trap just for Pip because I know that they like to take duck baths. And if they jump into this water, it'll poison them. Once Pip gets past this, they'll have to run all the way down this hallway, and this will be the hallway of death. I'm going to go ahead and add some more dispenser traps just to shoot all the way down this corridor. So I'll add some tripwire hooks on this wall, and then build it going all the way down this room. This way, no matter where in this hallway Pip is stood or any monsters, they will activate the trap. And the best part is, with tripwires, even if you jump, it'll activate again. So if you're running through this hallway, jumping around, you'll just activate it a ton more times and take way more damage. Oh, Louie. Oh, Pip, what are you doing? Come to my base real quick. I want to show you the best trap ever. All right, let's see it, Pip. What are you working on? It seems like a sign that says zombies left, people right. P pretend you're a zombie. Pretend you're a zombie. Um, if I was a zombie and I knew there were people with nice, juicy brains, I would probably go this no, way, No, no, no. Read the sign. Read the sign, Louis. The zombies say... The, the, the sign says zombies left, so go to the left. Uh, okay. I'll be heading this way now, and... Um, uh, Pip, did you just put TNT in your base? You almost just blew up Mikey and their entire family. That was super dangerous. No, 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 I... I wasn't trying to blow up Mikey's family. I was trying to blow up the zombies. Oh, my gosh. There's no way I can let them stay here. They have to go inside of my base. It's way safer. No, Louie, I'm not letting you take Mikey's family from me. Go back to your base, man. I gotta deal with this mess. Oh, fine, Pip. But you need to make sure that base is secure by the time the sun goes down. As you can see, we haven't got long left until the monsters attack. But now, guys, I'm going to add a few more walls and one more twisty turn until it takes me back into this massive room right here. And this is where I'm gonna do a really cool trap. 
I think I'll make it a little bit wider, but I cannot spend too much time building, or else the zombies will attack and I won't even be ready for it. So I'll do one small door, another small door, and another one. And this is where I'm going to build a pop quiz. I'll make sure that there's a few questions, because at the end of the day, I need to keep the zombies out, and they're not good at quizzes. To make sure that no zombies get inside, I'm going to go ahead and put a sign saying, Our brains tasty? And that is the first question of my pop quiz. To which the answers will be, yes, and then maybe, and then no. And as you guys know, if you're a real human, you would go through the answer that says no. So I'll put three doors on each one and make this one the right answer. I'll also add some pressure plates on each one. And if you go through the wrong one, it'll set off a fire charge right next to the door. All right, well, since my last trap didn't work, I have a different trap idea. So when the zombies go down the zombie hallway, they're gonna be killed by two dispensers that shoot out fire charges. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be such an OP trap. Wait a second. Pip, did I just hear you say the word fire charges? You're totally copying my ideas. Louis, you did not invent fire charges. Um, but I'm using them in my base, which means it seems like you're trying to make your new base a pro base by copying me. Well, Louis, I was trying to use my previous trap, but that didn't work, so I, I kind of had to copy your trap just a little bit. Oh, I see how it is. Well, don't worry. When your base is much safer because of that trap, you'll have me to thank. But now, guys, it's time for me to work on the next question of my pop quiz. And I'm going to put, are Louie and Pip brothers? As you guys know, me and Pip are brothers, so this one would be the right answer. The second answer will be no, and that is completely wrong. So when they walk through this door, it's gonna blast them with another fire charge. And then the third answer can just be something silly, like Pip is Louie's son, which we all know is completely wrong. So whoever goes through here is going to be destroyed with a fire charge. Boom! And now it's time for the last and final question. And this question will be, how many subscribers does Louis have? The first answer will be 13,000, which is technically the correct answer. The second one, I'll put 100,000. And the fourth one, I'll put 1 million subscribers. All right, guys, so as you know, this way is the correct way to get to JJ's family. I'm going to make this maze seem entirely impossible. By filling up this wall with ghost blocks, there's no way you would even know that's an entrance. And they'll probably end up going around this corner and getting trapped in another dead end. And if I want to go see JJ's family, all I have to do is walk through these ghost blocks and run around all the way into the main room. But now that I think about it, guys, I'm going to need some armor and weapons to fight off the mobs. So I'm going to go ahead and put a storage room in here with JJ's family. But now, guys, what I'm going to do is put a few chests in here just for some items for myself. I'm going to go ahead and put this netherite armor all over these item stands just like this. And then fill up this chest with netherite swords. Okay, Pip, what are you feeding them? I'm feeding them a nice juicy steak. Well, I'm not feeding Mikey's family disgusting steak. I'm feeding them yummy dirt with a side of seeds. Yummy dirt? Ew! Did you just say dirt? That's not yummy at all, Pip. It's gonna make them sick. Well, if they don't like dirt, that's why I have seeds in the chest as well. Mm, but they're turtles. I don't think turtles eat seeds. They eat seagrass. Maybe you should feed them that. Ew! I hate seagrass! I would never touch that stuff. That's why I'm forcing Mikey's family to eat seeds. Oh, well, it's not very nice to force someone to eat something they don't like. Well, they should be thanking me for keeping them safe. But now, guys, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just add a few more dead ends to my base like this and fill them with traps. As you can see, in the hallway leading up to JJ's family, I'm going to go ahead and fill this entire section here with lava. But not any regular lava. This is fake lava. Meaning if I jump inside, I will take no damage, even if I'm in survival mode. I'm going to go ahead and add some things inside of my base, like this here. 
I'm going to put some iron golems inside this area of the base to protect from any mobs that manage to get through my pop quiz. I'm going to separate this area with a fence like this and add a ton of iron golems. And now I'm going to go ahead and put a villager inside too to make any mobs on this side attracted towards the villager so the iron golem can reach them through the fence and kill them. But now, because I know I'm the only one who can get past the pop quiz, I'm going to add a little parkour staircase like this, just so that I can make it to the top of my maze and shoot any mobs running through it. I doubt Pip has anything crazy like that in their base. Right, Pip? How about you tell me what you're building right now? I'm just making my maze bigger so that these zombies cannot reach Mikey's family because I do not want Mikey's family to die. Mm, you make a good point. I like all of the twists and turns you're making, but it seems pretty cramped. What if Mikey's family wants to use the bathroom or something? Well, I'll add a pooper room in a second, Louie, but look... I even added a fake entrance, so when the zombies, the really dumb zombies are like, rah, 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 they're dying in the lava! That is kind of smart, Pip, but what if, but what if the person trying to invade your base is someone smart like me? I would just sneak, see the lava, and jump over it like that! How did you do that, Louie? Are you, are you a pro at parkour? As well as building, yes, I am a parkour god! It's all just skill, Pip. Well, just keep securing your base now. As you can see, the sun has gotten much lower. We probably don't even have 10 minutes left. Oh my gosh, Louie, you're right. I gotta make the pooper room. Pooper room? Don't you mean bathroom? But that's a good idea. I need to make a bathroom as well for JJ's family. So I'm going to go ahead and make this bathroom really spacious so they never have to worry about any mobs getting inside. I'm going to go ahead and just add some wood on the other side like this and all around this room just so it has a nice natural feel to it. I'm also going to make sure to add a roof to this too. We can't have anybody peeking. Now, I'm just going to fill in the floor with iron blocks like this and I'm going to grab a toilet. And I think I'm going to put enough for me and JJ's family to poop all at the same time. I'll add these doors that you cannot see through just so we can have some privacy. And I'm going to also add a sign saying bathroom. Oh, Louie! Uh, wait, what is that noise? Uh, JJ, what are you doing outside of the base? You have to stay inside the maze to be secure. Hey, Louie, it's me, JJ. I was just reviewing your base, and I think it's really ugly. Wait, what? But you and your entire family were just in there saying it was great. Because I wanted to come on the outside, because it's, it's what's on the outside that counts, not the inside. Wait, JJ, that's something That's something that Pip would say. Uh, are you sure you're feeling okay? What, Louie, I would never say that. I mean, I mean... Pip, Pip, Pip would never say that. Um, JJ, you're acting really suspicious. Maybe I should go ask your well, wife. No, Louie, you don't have to do that. I think we. I think I just want to move my family to Pip's base over here, the more secure base. I, I, I don't think my family should be at your base anymore. I think I, Pip's base is the pro base after all. Wait, JJ. Oh, I'm gonna ask your family. I need all of their opinions. No, no, no. Uh, you don't have to do that. Well, I, I already a, moved them. I already moved them. Wait a second. JJ, why is there another JJ in my base? And why is your entire family already here inside? Maybe that's an impersonator, because I'm I'm the real JJ. Oh, Pip, this better not be you. Uh, oh, fine, it is me, Louie. I just wanted to prank you. Oh, Pip, why are you coming into my base without permission? And why are you pretending to be JJ? That's so mean. I just wanted to prank you, Louie. Come on, you're my brother. You know, we're supposed to prank each other, all right? Oh, Pip, your jokes are not funny. The sun is going down, and these monsters are going to come out. We need to make sure JJ and Mikey's family are protected. We don't have time to waste. Oh, come on, Louie. Mikey's family will be fun. Uh, I don't know about JJ's family, though. I wasn't lying. This base does kind of suck. Oh, just get back to your base, Pip. We need to keep working. Pip has gone way too far this time. They have completely crossed the line. You know what? I think I want to get revenge. So I'm going to troll Pip right now. Since Pip wants to make it seem like JJ doesn't want to stay in my base, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to throw some invisibility on myself and you can't even see me. And now all I need is a few signs like this. 
I'm going to fly all the way inside of Pip's base where Mikey and their family are staying. And I'm going to put down a sign saying, we like Louie. Louie's base way better. This will be so funny because when Pip comes up here and reads it, Pip is going to be so sad and think Mikey wants to stay at my maze instead. That would be better off too because my base looks so much better. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace all of these gold blocks like this inside of Pip's base with white wool. As you can see, it looks disgusting. But I think that's enough trolling. Pip is going to be so confused when they come back. Let's get back to my base. I'm going to work on a few more traps and then add some obsidian around here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is after the pop quiz and they run through this secret area right here, I'm going to make it so that the mobs and maybe Pip have to jump over all of these spikes in order to get to the family. This way, it'll keep them really safe. And just in case they miss the family like this and go around, let's add some more traps around here. I'm going to go ahead and replace some of these blocks around here with redstone blocks like this. And then I'm going to put some lasers on the side. As you can see, this looks super secure. But now I need one more trap for this last dead end. And I think I've got the perfect idea. As you can see, I'll put down a trapped chest like this. I'll put these sticky pistons behind like this and connect them to blocks. Now, all I have to do is power the sticky pistons with these torches. So when I open this chest, it'll relay a redstone signal and retract the pistons. So as you can see, if I open this chest, it'll pull the pistons back. So if I'm just an unsuspecting victim stood on top of this block like this and I pull this, It'll drop me straight inside, where I'm going to put a lava pit down below. All right, I just finished up my basement. Time to get Mikey's family opinion on it. Hey, Mikey, wait, we like Louie's base way better? Well, what are, you, what are you guys talking about? And wait, why is there white wool everywhere? White wool is disgusting. Ugh, this reeks of Louie. Let me go ask him. Hey, Louie! Uh, what do you want, Pip? Have you finally realized something? Oh, yeah, I realized something, Louie. I realized you're ugly. Nah, I'm just kidding. I realized there's something wrong with my base. Oh, wait, what's wrong with your base, Pip? Uh, go into more detail. I don't exactly know what you're talking about. I, I swear all this wool was was yellow gold. Hmm, well, that's a bit weird. I have no idea why it would have changed. Hehehe, <laughs> guys, this is so funny! Alright, let's see what Pip has to say next. I mean, this this had to have been you, Louis. I mean, Mikey's family wouldn't have done this. Um, well, what are you talking about, Pip? I would, uh, never do anything like that. What was that, Louis? What did you just throw on the ground? Um, nothing. Uh, that's nothing right there. Splash Potion of Invisibility? Um, Louie, where'd you get this? Um, well, it's because I'm a pro. I'm also a pro at brewing potions. Guys, I don't know if I could get out of this one. Well, that checks out. Bye. Wait. Oh, guys, I thought I was done for. Pip got so close to figuring out. Pip got close. Pip got so close into figuring out that was me! Phew! At least I'm not gonna lose this build challenge now. Look how many traps we have. This maze is going to be awesome. But one thing I have as a problem here is, what if they disable the traps? So I need to get some really strong blocks like obsidian and just cover up the redstone trails like this. This way, my redstone is going to be blast proof. And also, it'll add an extra layer of protection to my base. Not only do I have iron blocks, but I have obsidian blocks too, which are like some of the strongest in the game, just underneath netherite blocks. And all I'm going to do is run around like this and find any areas where there's some traps that could be broken, just like this one. And then I'll cover it up from behind, just like that. Oh, Louie, why are you putting such ugly obsidian all over your base? What do you mean, Pip? Obsidian is just as ugly as dirt, but I would say it looks way better. Well, Louie, at least I'm actually putting good traps. See, look, I'm putting cobwebs all around my maze, so when the zombies come in, if they don't get stuck in the quicksand, they get stuck 
in the cobwebs. Pip, I don't know about you, but those cobwebs are only going to slow down the mobs just a tiny bit. It'll just delay the death of Mikey's family. Unlike JJ's family, they're gonna be nice and secure in the end of my base when these mobs come. And there we go. As you can see, the obsidian now looks like two eyes on a silverfish. Now all I have to do is just make the extra layer like this. So these little empty areas here, I'll just fill up with obsidian. Wait, Louis, why are you making your base look like a silverfish? Silverfish are ugly, so that makes your base ugly. Well, I don't know about you, Pip, but I just come up with a really great idea. If my base looks like a silverfish, maybe the monsters will see it as a silverfish, and they won't even try to attack me. Um, Louis, I know the monsters are dumb, but I don't think they're that dumb. Well, Pip, you'll just have to wait and see. At the end of the day, I'm pretty sure the mobs will be smarter than your first trap. What is this sign even going to do? Absolutely nothing, that's what. But there we go, guys. I've just added the tail shape to my silverfish, and now it's really coming along nicely. It's taking the shape of a silverfish right now. All I have to do is just fill up some of these gaps in the middle, like this. This will prevent any mobs from getting stuck in the corners, meaning they can't cheat in my base. And now, all I have to do is just follow this area around like this and coat it off. This will make sure that no mobs can just walk in and break through these walls, meaning they can't get into my base past the entrance. This means that the mobs are going to have to go through my entire maze to get to JJ's family, and maybe Mikey's if I decide I need to save them from Pip's terrible base. We haven't got very long. I'd say only a minute left until the mobs come. Don't worry, Louie. I'm getting prepared right now. Me too, Pip. I'm putting on my netherite armor right now. I need to be prepared to protect JJ's family with my life. Oh, don't worry, Louie. I've already got my netherite armor on. Netherite armor? Pip, I didn't think I'd ever see you wearing it. Uh, um, Pip, are you sure you're wearing netherite armor? Can you describe it for me? Of course I'm wearing netherite armor, Louis. I'd never lie to you. Well, the armor, I mean, it looks kind of, like, uh, brown and, and you know, it's a little bit soft and it, it, it's kind of itchy, but I, I just think that's netherite. Wait, Pip, wh where are you? I need to see this armor for myself. Oh, I'm in my basement. You can come over here. I put a hole in the glass right here. Pip, that's still leather armor. Are you kidding me? Look at my armor compared to yours. What are you talking about, Louie? Our armor looks the exact same. Get down in this basement right now. Let's see. My armor is extremely black. Really deadly looking. And your armor is so soft and brown looking. Are you sure that's going to protect you well enough? Of course, Louie. It always does. I doubt that, Pip. As you guys know, Pip always has trouble with the base. And if you think they're gonna have more trouble with this dirt maze, like the video. I'm gonna be checking how many likes this has at the end. Um, Pip? Did you just get sent <gasps> to survival mode? You know what that means, Louie. The monsters are coming! It's nighttime! We have to prepare to fight! Have you got your weapons and armor ready? Of course, Louie. I was born ready. <gasps> oh no, zombies are spawning. Wait, skeletons too! Where are they coming from, Pip? It seems like they're spawning around our base. As you can see, there are zombies and skeletons spawning next to my base. And there's creepers spawning behind yours, Pip. This is terrible. Look how many creepers there are. Oh my gosh, how is my base going to survive so many creepers? I don't know, Pip. But that's why I said to build your base out of a really strong material. And anyways, it just seems like the first skeleton set off my traps. Meaning that my maze is fully secure now. Don't worry, Pip. Just get to a high point. Or maybe get a bow and arrow if you have one. I have a bow and arrow, but there's a thousand skeletons that have one too. Oh no, guys. This is really bad. There are creepers attacking. And they're about to explode. They're blowing up all over my base. As you can see, there's a massive crater in the ground. It's a good thing I built it out of obsidian, or else I would be toast right now. Luckily, the skeletons are shooting themselves, so I don't think I have to worry about the skeletons too much, but these creepers are going to be scary. Watch out, Pip. Keep running. You're uh, about to be in a really bad predicament. Oh my gosh. Wait, what if I try to get the creepers to blow up each other? Come on, creepers. Blow up. Blow up. That's a really good idea, Pip. I can see you destroying all those zombies over there with the creeper explosions. That's better than any of the traps you've had so far. Oh my gosh, I'm so low. I need to make sure Mikey's okay. I know, Pip. I know what you're saying. But it seems like my door's just opened again on my maze. All the mobs are coming in. This is terrible. 
Oh, I need to fend them off right now. I can see a ton of zombies walking in. Oh, I need to get to a higher point. Go, 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 go. Do I even remember the way around my maze? No, no, no. That's the ghost blocks. I have to fight my way back through. Here we go. And oh, no, that was really close. Those fire charges almost had me. Let's just dodge, dodge, dodge. Luckily, they won't get past my pop quiz, but I can climb up this ladder right here over this lava and see how they do. Oh my gosh, well, I think a creeper blew up the moat, which actually benefits me because now my moat is bigger and these zombies are too scared to come into my base. Oh, that's actually really OP. How are the mobs helping Pip more than me? Here we go, Pip. I'm on my way to see your base and it's super insecure. Look at all of this space right here. They can just walk around. They cannot walk around this, Louie. What are you thinking? Um, uh, uh, Pip, I think they are. They're walking across your moat <gasps> right now. Which Wait, way do we go? Wait, how do they do that? Uh, the right. Go to the right. I'm going to the right right now. Let's go, go, go. Um, you might have to show me through this maze, Pip. I have no idea where to go from here. Uh, just, just keep going. The zombies are coming. Oh my gosh, Louie, these zombies are so hard. <laughs> We gotta keep killing them. I know, Pip. They're taking over. You know what? We need to get you suited up. You're still in leather armor. Let's get you into some nice, strong netherite armor, just like me. Follow me to my base. There's so many of them. I know, Pip. Look at all of the creepers and all of the zombies. We've got to get inside my base. Where are you? I'm behind all the zombies, but I'm, I'm trying to get through them, but there's just so many. Well, Pip, now you're inside my base. We have to complete it together. Let's go. Come on. I'll fend off the zombies and you fend off the traps. Go ahead. Okay, Pip. Now it's time for the pop quiz. Can you do the first question? Wait. Are brains tasty? Oh, I've never... I, I don't know. I've never had a brain, so I'm gonna say maybe. Oh, no, Pip, Pip, Pip. You... How did you dodge that? You just dodged the fire charge. The correct answer was no, because only a human would say that. Oh, uh, well, I'm not Anyways, a human. Anyways, let's do this second question. All right. Are Louie and Pip brothers? Um, unfortunately, yes. Wait. Pip is Louie's son? What kind of answer is that? Um, I don't know, Pip. That's, uh, that was the viewer's choice, not mine. Uh, guys, um, please defend me in the comments. Okay, well, I'm gonna go for the yes answer. And you got it right, because technically I adopted you, so you are technically my brother. Yeah, uh -huh, unfortunately, but anyways, how many subscribers does Louie have? Well... Come on, Pip, you can get it! You're like a you're like a super popular YouTuber, aren't you? So don't you have like a million subscribers? Um, well, sadly, not yet, Pip. But what is a more accurate answer in your opinion? So let's see, we have thirteen thousand and a hundred thousand. Um oh wait, no, I'm pretty sure Louie doesn't have that many subscribers, so I think we'll go through thirteen thousand. What? Oh how wait, why didn't you take any damage? Guys, did you not subscribe? Subscribe now! Okay, Pip. Well, I would be careful if I were you. If you fall into that, you'll be toast. And wait, you just found my secret room with no trouble at all? Um, Louie, what kind of secret room just has a bunch of lava in it? Uh, mine. And it's a super secure trap. There is no way you can get across. Um, except for me, because I'm Louie. So I'm gonna swim through this lava, no problem. Wait, Guys, can I Pip swim has through this? no idea, it's fake. <gasps> Wait, Wait, that hurt. Wait. You just jumped in. No, that, that doesn't hurt. Wait. What? I'm literally swimming in lava? Oh my gosh. Yes, Am Pip, I super this... strong? No, Pip. You're not super strong, but this is fake lava. Meaning you can get through my base without taking any damage in the lava. Follow me. Now it's time to move to my next trap. And this is how I take care of JJ's family. I put them in this room full of spikes because it's really hard to jump over them, meaning any mobs that come in here will take a lot of damage. Oh, come on, Louis. Spikes don't hurt that much. Let me try it. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Run, Pip, run. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, wait, I, oh my gosh, I did it. I'm so low. You almost died there, but... Congratulations, you completed my maze. Meaning, uh, it's time for you to get some netherite armor. Woohoo, you're looking really cool right now, Pip. Have you got a sword now? Uh, yeah, I've got a wooden sword right here. This should do the trick. No, 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 that's not going to do. Go in this chest and get yourself a netherite sword. Netherite swords exist? I thought they were only a myth. Nope, they're really real. And also, grab yourself some golden apples so we can fight these mobs off. 
Wait, but Louie, we've been in your base for so long. Mikey's family's probably in trouble. We need to go check on them. All right, Piv. How about we go to Mikey's family and we bring them all the way over here to my secure maze? All right, Piv. Come on. Follow me. Let's go to your base and tell Mikey's family they're coming over here. Let's go. Follow me up this staircase right here. Don't fall in the lava, Pip. It will really hurt. Wait, is this fake water as well? No, that is real lava. That will hurt you. Oh, no, Pip. Look at your base. It's infested with zombies. They're climbing all over it. How did they get up there? I don't know. They're a little smarter than you thought. Let's just get in there again and tell Mikey's family that they're coming to my base. Oh, which way do we go again? Uh, the right, the right. Come on, the right. Go, 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 go. Let's just keep walking in a straight line until we get to Mikey's family. Come on, Mikey's family's in here. Oh, they're safe. Oh, Mikey, you guys are safe right now, but we're taking you to my base. It's so much more secure. I knew I'd have to save you guys eventually. And there we go, Pip. We now have Mikey and JJ's family inside my super secure base. This maze looks awesome and works really well. Phew, they're all safe and sound now. You know, Louie, I'm glad you had such a secure base so both of our families can be safe together. Me too, Pip, and I'm glad we worked together to make this all work out in the end. As you can see, JJ's family and Mikey's family are now safe. Thanks to our teamwork. Woohoo! Our bases are so awesome! Yeah!